In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put a watermark in Google Sheets. Now, there's no easy way or there's no in-app feature in Google Sheets that will allow you to easily add a watermark. Unlike in Google Docs, where you can just literally insert a watermark. Now, watermarks can be a company logo or a text that would just say confidential or top secret. And usually it's going to be at the background of your text. Now, since we don't have this feature yet here in Google Sheets, what I'm going to show you is a bit different. What we're going to do is to create an image with a transparent background and a transparent text that we will put over ourselves. And we're going to do this with Canva. Now, Canva is a free to use online graphic design tool, which we can use to create this watermark or this image. So once you go to Canva, you're going to be signing in with your Google account or your Gmail account. Once you do so, you'll have to sign up for the free trial. Now, I say this because we're going to need it for a special feature that will only allow us to do it if we are signed up for the free trial. Now, this free trial, you're not going to pay anything for the next 30 days once you've signed up. So just don't forget to cancel your subscription before the 30 day ends. So once you're logged in, let's go straight to creating a logo. So we're going to create a logo to create the image that we want for our watermark. So just click on that and you'll be directed to another tab where you will be creating your logo or in this case, our watermark. And now we're going to the left side where we have our tools. Let's select text right here, add a text box and you have your text box right there, which we can just edit and put in the text or the logo of our company, whichever it is, but we're going to stick to the text and put in just Google Sheets. Now, again, you can put in any text here. Usually it's confidential, top secret. I just want to use Google Sheets. So we can reposition this by just clicking on it, dragging it around and position it where we want it to be. And we can also rotate the text with this icon right here. So we can go left, right. It's totally up to you. Now I want to make it slanted so that we can fit it here on our image size. Like so. Now we can change the text. Maybe this one and just keep on adjusting once you're happy. We are moving on to the next step, which is going to make our text transparent. So select your text. So go to this three dotted line right here where it will say more. Click on it and you will have transparency right here. Once you click on that, you'll see that the text is at 100%. Now, if we drag it down, make it to 15, you'll see that our text is now less visible. Now, this is important and I'll show you why later when we put it in our spreadsheet. So maybe we can make it a bit more lower 12. Okay. And I think I'm happy with that. Now we can download it and we can download this by going to share right here, select download right here. And we have the file type, which is if you drag down, there are so many choices, but the suggested one, which is PNG, where we can make the background transparent. Now, this is a feature that I was talking about. Now, if you sign up for the free trial, this can be used, but if you don't, then you cannot use it, which will make everything useless unless you have a transparent background again, because we are creating an image that we will put over ourselves. So once our background is not transparent, we will be just blocking everything with a white background. If you understand what I mean. So let's go to download. Once it's downloaded, it will be on your drive and you can just save. And that has been saved to your drive. Now, if we go back to our spreadsheet where we are going to be putting our watermark, let's go to insert select image and we are going to insert image over cells. So that's why we made the text of our background transparent and also our text a bit transparent. Now, if we click on this, we are going to upload browse. 
this is in our drive right now so if we select this and click on open we will see our watermark right here and as you see because our text is transparent we can still see our text now we can click on this image and reposition it rearrange it make sure that it's aligned with our text or with our data now i'm going to show you why again later when we try and share this same spreadsheet and publish it to the web now again if you're trying to share this with someone since it is an image over your cells you cannot edit your cells right now if you do have to make some changes or adjustments you can just drag the image to the side make your adjustments and when you're done just put it back now i'm going to show you what it's going to look like once you publish it to the web and you share it to others so we're going to file click on share and publish to the web we're going to click on publish select OK and when we copy this link and this is the same link that we are going to be sending to someone so that they can access your spreadsheet but this time with a watermark this is what it's going to look like and there you have it so I hope this will help in creating a watermark for your spreadsheets thanks for watching if you found this video helpful do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos see you on the next one